Today we will crown the new kings in the lacrosse world. Some of the greatest who have ever played this game will put their talents on display here in Philadelphia, PA. Tom Schreiber, the MVP, Michael Sowers, the championship MVP from last year, and the Archers trying to dethrone the defending champs. It's Water Dogs and Archers coming up next. A quick passing. Ryan Conrad inverts, plenty of time, 22 to shoot for the Dogs. Working on the short stick team, and he comes up field and scoots and scores! Ryan Conrad, the first goal of this PLO Cash App Championship, Dogs on top. Some players are meant for the big stage. That's one guy. Sometimes in the middle of the season, he can disappear. He's a national champion, he's a world champion, he's a PLL champion, and this time, Ryan, he goes to the rack, that's Ryan Conrad. And your point guard, in last year's championship, he had three goals, so you're gonna see him split right to left. Archers not prepared or don't wanna slide, they trust Rogers, and Conrad takes that extra step upfield to increase his shooting angle and find some space right in the five hole of Plenty of time on the shot clock. Shot score! Mac O'Keefe continues his torrid shooting to tie this game up at one apiece. You turn on the tape. What's patented Mac O'Keefe? It's low to high, pure gas. He knows there's a scout on him. No one scored more goals in NCAA history at Penn State than Mac O'Keefe. He's got a couple bags in his trick. This one is called low to low. Right behind the two-pointer. He could smell it, Ryan. And then after the sub game, that's to watch these the, the Archers team. Bouncer, wide, more with the rebound though. Shot left-handed. Wardo, sharp. Progressive game flow in the bottom of the screen. Shot, score! Did somebody say 22 needs to get involved? I believe you did. I believe you did as well, RB. And he does, 2-1 dogs. Shoots. Tried to use a screen that time, but you have to step up field when you're shooting against Dylan Ward. All the man for two! Schreiber hit the nail on the head. You can't replace fields one-to-one. -one. So who are the guys to step up? Last week in the semifinal, Clark, you said, don't be surprised if it's this guy right here, Algevin. Absolutely. Out in Salt Lake City, he popped, Cotter. There was something about the way he moved, his aggressive nature towards the cage. And like we talked earlier about Amen not throwing a bounce pass on this type of wet surface. This is the time, though, to shoot a bounce shot because it is firing 94 miles. Here's the clear. On you here. Going on Witcher, trying to use a pick. Shot. Good look. Aim it inside, scores. There's the extra step. The big body ward. How do you beat him, Ryan? You got a hitch. Get him engaged and then throw a skip pass. So you're gonna see on this, right, freezer, right here, you can see Chris Sabia, he's looking around like, where did my guy go? He was staring at the ball, then he comes back, and Grant Amen snuck around back where he wants to be. There's Sowers and Courier working a two-man game. Courier gets it back. Dobson with the save. Sogovin's feeling it, skips it to the far side to O'Keefe. Gets his hand straight in the middle, shoots, hits the pipe. Free inside the, scores! Scooped in by LeClaire. Very Canadian of you, Trey LeClaire. Get up, get up, head. You can hear Dobson shouting instructions from goal. Sowers takes a shot, Dobson again, sees it all the way. Now he wants to go quickly. Gets free. Showing that speed and quickness. Backhand, it scores! He exploded in the semifinals. Back at his comfortable attack spot, and he's doing it again here in the title game. Going into today with the weather, the two guys we were most worried about are the quick little water bugs, Amen and Sowers. You can see from a footing perspective, no issues. He just turns on the Jets, changes hands, so he can get that stick back upfield, add a layer deception, and back at it. 
That is a high school teammate and a college teammate that he's taken to the rack in Chris Sabia. He beats Sabia in space near the end. With 32 seconds on the clock. And Sisselberger ran off, so they've got numbers. And Reese took a two-point shot, didn't work. Here come Archers quickly on the other side. Challen Rogers, the pass, the shot, the score! Matt Moore buries it, Archers! They love transition. Kind of muscle his way in, back out to Schreiber. On the shorty, down the alley, tough angle shot, takes oh, it, scores! Oh, 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 oh. Oh. He had a sliver to work with, and he made it work. And he used an incredible amount of deception with a little twister at the end of this. As he's running down the alley, he's losing angle, losing angle, losing angle. And he whips his stick across his head to increase it and put a little deception, a little English on that, Kark. This is unbelievable, and you have to be so conscious of where you shoot against Dylan Ward because his wide base. The little subtle move to put the stick across his face changes everything from an angle perspective. Work with on the offensive end. It's like the, the script has been completely flipped. Support here, support. Conrad trying to work his way free. Shoot, scores! Dogs needed that one. They needed to stop the bleeding. This huge Archer's run. We talked about him early on. Big time players stepping up. Three goals last year in the championship. Two already in the first half. There's two ways that you could work off of a roll dodge. One is accelerate and get to top speed. The other is use the momentum and the torque to take that shot from decent speed to heat, and that's exactly what. Driver waits for the substitution pattern to complete itself. Augman, full head of steam. Beautiful look to O'Keefe. Great pass, and finds back O'Keefe on the far pipe. No Connor Fields. As crazy as it sounds for this offense. Towers. Beautiful move. Get here, get here, get Door was shut by Challen Rogers though. Now he's got Rogers on him. Ten to shoot. Caraway, he'll step into it. Score! <laughs> Michael's dealing. Watch the eyes of Sowers. He knows the slide's coming quick, Ryan. Dobson sees it, makes the save. In that shot. Watch here. Bowering! Puts it home! Let me introduce you to Reed Bowering out of Western Canada. First game in the PLL. We just haven't been able to go ahead and finish. So when we get some transition, when we get some good looks, we just got to shoot angry, get the ball to an edge here, and hopefully get one past Dobson. Curry there we go. Take, oh, there's one right there, Coach. The ultimate Swiss Army knife, Zach Courier. This is what he affords you from the face-off position. Challen Rogers forces it behind the cage to McArdle. Kelly shoots, scores! Dobson got a piece of it, just not enough. If you're gonna consistently beat Brett Dobson, this is how you do it. You do it off ball movement, off player movement, so he has to identify the shooter from behind the cage to in front of the cage. And we just haven't seen enough of that from the Water Dogs so far this first half. You can see the spot feed by McCardle. And Connor Kelly catches, incredible catch, and then after a rollback, getting back to his strong hand, is able to beat Dobson. This is pure instincts by Kelly. He catches the ball across his body, and then he knows enough from an instinct perspective to roll with it. So it's twofold. He catches it. Sowers, Dobson goes up to make the save. 15 seconds. Yeah. I would have liked to have seen them go to the rack quicker to give them a real power play. Sowers, Dobson goes up to make the save. But Carl keeps possession. Under 10. Sowers inside, he scores! Yeah, what do I know? <laughs> 
Pass inside. Sowers saved by Dobson. Staying with him. Here's LeClaire. This is a pick by Schreiber. Gets knocked off. LeClaire stays with it. Shoots. He scores! And frankly, that's one that you trust your goalie to make. So despite the puck touch, the save by Ward on Schreiber, I mean, this is low angle. LeClaire down the alley with his right hand stick to the outside. This is one that Dylan Ward usually makes. He does, Ryan, and we've seen a couple low angle shots today by Zach Courier, Tom Schreiber. They use twisters to increase their angle. He's straight up righty here, losing his angle on the wide base Ward, who's normally wider there. Like, he normally has that right foot wider, and he's crouched more. One guy that was like, eh, let me, I'm a little curious to see how things unfold was Sisselberger. Kelly shoots, scores! The scout on Connor Kelly is no rollbacks. And, and a lot of times, as he's dodging, the goalie will say, no rollback, no rollback. Continue going. Connor Kelly, you saw out of Maryland, won a world championship with Team USA in June in San Diego. Sisselberger scores! Well, that's one way to get it done on the face-off strike. Go fucking do it again. This is a juice goal. Teammates call him Sis. Really seen much from today. Hannah. Walker increases his angle and scores. It's all about the hitch step. How do you beat a hot goalie? It's a subtle move from one pipe to another. So much hype behind Kira McCardle and Michael Sowers. The forgotten man in Philly wears 57. And he can make it rain. Ethan Walker has the dogs within three. Sprint in. Season Ryan Brown retired. Who are we going to replace him with? They pick up Caraway, the sharpshooter, and he's paid dividends all season long. So this is what he affords you: is the range. If you don't get out on his hands, he's never seen a shot he doesn't like. Not afraid. He's used two archers as screens. I don't think Dobson ever saw this. And, and you know, yeah, that's right. Well-timed double team by Connors on the rollback there. Courier, one-handed, shoots and scores! We're all tied up! Zach Courier loves this little underneath move. And unlike some other shots we've seen today, instead of keeping his stick to the outside, he always bends back in and gets to his left hand. It's that little subtle hesitation to get Rodgers to slow down, then he explodes. That one hand cradle affords him to get the stick back to the inside, increase his angle, and Hasek just a hair late on the slide. And the one hand also, Ryan, it takes away any opportunity. With bad slides and ball watching. Dauber makes the save on Conrad. It feels like Archer just needs some juice. Augevin, Ambler. O'Keefe gives it to him. You know who made that play? Augevin. Watch where he moves right before he passes this ball. Yeah, this is gorgeous ball movement by Archers offensively. Augevin pushing in transition. Freeze it right here, and you're gonna see this is a kind of a mini three on two. You've got the Archers, these three offensive players against these two water dogs. You're gonna get this early slide, and that allows this pass, and then this pass right across. How often do you see a pass behind the goalie? Dylan Ward's high, Dylan Ward's high arc. Look how high on the arc he is. And they pass it backside of yes. the goalie. You never see that. That is a fantastic point, Quint. There is where you get burned on the high arc. It's the transfer from one side. Mac O'Keefe, like he rarely shoots stick side like that. Oh, oh. Yeah, you saw him coming. Hot 
Rusek's gonna get called as he lays out Randall. Archer's though, man down. Beautiful feed, and Leclerc scores! The Water Dogs power play coming in today, just 33%. Seventh in the league. This is a two-goal swing, potentially a three-goal swing, given the two-point range that they have. You turn the ball over here inside. Archers, Piper Bond off to the races and through some creativity in the substitution game. Beautiful give and go there with Leclerc, who gives it up, gets on his horse. And Dylan Ward. Walker. Inside, they make it work, Conrad. Down again, just one point. Do you remember when Quinn was talking to Conrad at halftime, he said, keep it simple. When you are inside and you are relegated as the finisher. Dogs on a power play. Kelly thought about firing from two. Caraway does, scores! That's a one-pointer, and we're all tied up in Philly. I think he's going low. When he catches the ball, something about his subtle gestures. I'm thinking, okay, he's gonna sweep this across his body, and he just hammers this corner. Well, they go back to the exact same action as the previous power play, but instead of going to Sowers, they whip it, they reverse fields. And I think the archers were anticipating it going back to the Sours. So when they spin it the other way, they're just a little late in that rotation. And Eamon on Scarpello, rolls back. Got it back to his right hand. O'Keefe can't get the shot off as he drops to his knees. Shot clock down to seven. Shriver's gonna have to make something happen here. He shoots oh! and scores! What? What? <laughs> You talk about taking matters into your own hands. The MVP late in the shot clock. Just a tick of a second left, Kark. Unbelievable. Put yourself in 26's shoes. You're one of the greatest midfielders ever to play the game. The one missing piece. It's a PLL championship. You're the MVP of the league. You're the best player on the planet. But can you seal the deal? And he does it on Randall, the Water Dogs' best cover guy. And that's after picking up a loose ball. I, mean, I was about to compliment Eli Goldbrecht on the second. He should just shoot it. Trying to get it to McArdle. Clock is winding down. Caraway's going to get a look. Oh. Save made by Dobson. 0.6 left to go. Shot inside. Dobson is able to steer it aside. And Archers win the title. The celebration for the Archers winning their first PLL title on that man right there, the MVP, Schreiber. And now I'd like to introduce your 2023 PLL champions, the Archers Lacrosse Club. Driver gets his first title, and of course, the rookies. Let's not under, undersell what Sisselberger and Dobson, and you mentioned it during the game, what they mean to that locker room, too. Loosening things yes. up a little bit for them. They were accepted with open arms, and it changed the complexion of this team, and it all led to a championship here in Philadelphia. A reminder, our post-game coverage will continue on ESPN+. Plus. 
with more analysis from today's game and interviews with the champs. For Ryan Boyle, Paul Carcaterra, Quint Kestick, Katie George, and our entire crew who have done such an amazing job all season long, I'm Chris Cotter saying so long from Philadelphia. Congratulations to the Archers on winning the 2023 PLL Cash App Championship. And thanks for watching the PLL on ESPN. We'll see you for more coverage on ESPN+.